right, good morning ladies and gentlemen. Let's continue our discussion on 2D motion. So first, let's toss a ball into the air. Can you catch it? Can you catch it? Do that again. Ooh, ooh. Big stuff, right? Dramatic. All right, so my question for you guys. On the way up, what is the direction of the displacement, velocity, and acceleration? Let's draw a diagram. Draw this with me, please. On the way up, uh, what is the direction of the displacement? Well, delta y is going to be, not equal, it's going to be positive. Um, the velocity is going to be positive. And the acceleration. Shouldn't that be the velocity original in the y direction? Oh, thank you, Mr. Boy, isn't that a Spanish word? Boy! <laughs> And then uh, acceleration, aka gravity, is always pushing down. Not pushing, but pulling down. Here we go. Um, now, on the way down, what is, how is this different? So I'm going to go ahead and draw this again. Okay. Um, and again, what is the direction of my displacement? So we are going the exact same amount of distance, but this time it's in the negative direction. Um, the velocity is the same direction as the displacement, so it's going to be, oh, let me write that above the, above the velocity, right there. Same size there, okay. And uh, the acceleration, well, See, gravity I think you is, need to, oh no, you got it labeled, sorry. Gravity is always going down. Oh yeah, right here, good, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. you're good. Yeah, boom, okay. All right, so that is what our softball looks as we toss it up and as it comes down. Okay, here we go, we got more words. You throw a ball straight up, leaving your hand at 10 meters per second. How fast is it going after it rises five meters above your hand? So uh, I'm gonna say you throw a ball straight up, leaving your hand at 10 meters per second. So I'm gonna go, oh, 10, right? Yeah. Yep. So, yeah. 10 meters per second here. That was a pretty color, okay. Uh, how fast is it going after it rises? So we wanna know how fast it's going at the end. So we want to know v, v final. Actually, I'm going to call that. It's not really V final because it sort of falls over here. I'm five call meters. It, yeah, five meters right there. Um, and we, oh, I'm going to call it. We don't know. We're trying to figure out what's going on up here. That's our question mark, right? I'm so yep. used to writing, writing at the top zero. Um, and it's going five meters. Okay. So uh, how fast is it going after it rises? So we want to. We want to choose one of our kinematic equations, right? Um, and we want to choose the one that doesn't have time. Oh. So when I look at my equations, we're going to use TAD. What is TAD? Glad you asked. V final squared equals the initial squared plus 2AD, TAD. Now we know that A is really... Yes, man. That guy. Firm. Well, let's plug it in. So we're trying to figure out this. Perfect. Okay. So equals my velocity uh, initial here is 10 uh, meters per second squared plus 2 negative 10 meters per second squared times my distance, which is 5 meters. Okay. Let's do this math. Uh, that's 100 meters per second, 10 squared. The human calculator, oh, OMG. <laughs> The only time I'll ever be able to do this. Um, two times negative, that's negative 20 times five. That's negative 100. Bottom. <laughs> okay. All right, so. Um, negative 100 minus 100. What does that give me? Zero. It gives me zero. Okay, so in fact, I'm gonna write this better for you guys v final squared. Even if I take the square root of that, that's going to give me zero meters per second. Okay, so that means that at the top of here, we're zero meters per second. So wait, that worked out pretty nice, didn't it? All right, what we got next? Oh, we can't forget about this. How much time will it take you to get there? So I know! We're trying to figure out time. So again, I look at my equation sheet, okay? I'm going to go ahead and write down the equation I'm going to use. I'm going to say a equals v final minus v initial over t. 
but I want to figure out time, right? So I can just do a little switch thing here. Okay, T equals, and my V final was, oh, zero meters per second. Minus my initial was 10 meters per second. And I divided by my acceleration, which is negative 10 meters per second. I don't wow. think you're going to need a calculator on that one, Ms. Mo. The math is quite nice. Negative 10 divided by negative 10 gives me one. What are we talking about here? Seconds. Bada boom. Sweet. Okay. Uh, would you flip that uh, slide for me? There we go. Okay, uh, so. Boom. Uh, okay, so next question. A ball is released from rest and falls straight down. How fast is it going after falling five meters? We can use this, yes? Okay, so. Um, I'm gonna use my, my purple again. So a ball is released from rest, so we know our uh, velocity um, at the top. Yep. We'll say uh, zero meters per second um, for my rest, and it falls straight down. Okay, we know that this equals negative 10 meters per second squared always. Um, five meters, that's how much it's falling. Okay, we know it's negative, I just wrote that negative over there. Um, how long, oh, and we can't forget, velocity down. No, we okay. want to know how fast. Uh, we want to know how, fa how, uh, after, how fast it's going after falling five meters. Well, I can just use what equation? the same equation, right? Use tab. Okay, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and write V final squared equals V initial squared plus tad. Tad, chad, okay. Uh, <laughs> I like that. <laughs> it's like, wow, does this work? Um, Okay, so we can get rid of that, because that's zero this time. So two times acceleration, negative 10 meters per second squared, times my distance, negative five meters, okay. Uh, okay, so negative 20, negative 20 times a negative five is 100. And then you gotta do the square root. Meters per second, oh yeah, thank you. Uh, square root of that, that was a square. Square, getting sloppy over here. Square root, that means that V final equals 10 meters per second. Huh. Sweet. Now, hold on a second, though. We have to check ourselves real quick. We, taught, we said that the velocity um, is, is, is direction was, was negative, right? Yes. So even though our answer is positive here, we have to say, okay, we know that it's falling. Our velocity is negative. Oh, because the displacement was negative. If the displacement is negative, the velocity is negative. Boom. But you got to have it positive under the radical or else the world collapses, right? Exactly. We don't want that. <laughs> we don't want the world coming to an end over a map. <laughs> okay. How long will it take to fall to fall that? Oh, wait. Hold on. Y'all recognize anything? Hmm. Okay. Okay. How long will it take uh, to fall that far? We can use the same equation. You love it when it's easy. Uh, we already did our work over here, so I'm just going to say T equals... I'm just going to flip-flop it here. Um, my uh, velocity final was this, negative 10 meters per second. Subtract my velocity initial. Divide it by, and we just flip these two. So acceleration goes in the bottom, negative 10 meters per second squared. Um, okay, that should be one second. I think so. Sweet, which makes sense, right? It do. So... What does the word symmetry mean and how does it apply to these problems? Well, uh, think about your face and symmetry. So uh, you have an ear on this side, an ear on that side. You have eye, eye, nostril, nostril. It's the same, right? Symmetrical. Symmetrical. But on, over here, it's the left ear. Yes. Over here, it's the right ear. Yes. But they're, built, they're both the same. So what we have is we have symmetry. We have, uh, we have um, information that's the same on both sides, but they're a little bit different. And when I say different, I just mean positive, negative. One's going up, one's going down. One's going up, one's going down, but everything else is the same. And you can see that here with our calculations. And we got the same numbers. Thank God, right? <laughs> that's symmetry right there. Okay, so um, just a reminder, write this down in your notebook. Um, hidden information, this is what's going to save you. Um, if it's starting from rest, initial velocity is zero. If it's dropped, the initial velocity is zero. Um, a ball is dropped, our acceleration is this, always. Um, if you throw a ball into the air, at the top, its velocity is zero. 
you remember those things, you're halfway there. All right. Words. 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 Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and erase this. Uh, we can go ahead and pause it. A place kicker kicks a football. Its initial velocity is 22 meters per second at an angle of 40 degrees above the horizontal. What are the horizontal and vertical components of its velocity? Components, my favorite. <laughs> so, let's do this. I'm gonna go ahead and draw this guy right over here. Okay, so we said 22 meters per second. Okay, and the angle was 40, 40 degrees. degrees. 40 degrees. Okay. So how do I divide this into components? Well, uh, I'm going to use green for the good green earth here. And I'm going to use blue pointing towards the sky. Oh, okay. So this is B of X. And this is Y. All right, so we have to break this up into its components, each independent of each other. So how do we do this? So what part of the triangle is this? Actually, before we do that, let's make our, our T-chart here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a little down here. Is that up everything? That's good. <laughs> okay, and this is my X, and this is the Y direction. So remember, whenever we're dealing with um, vectors um, and we break it into components, um, a two, uh, sorry, a 2D um, uh, projectile motion problem, anything with two dimensions, we always want to look at the X and the Y independently. And so um, let's go ahead and write what the equation that we were going to put right here, up here. All right. So what part, of the, what, what, side, what part of the triangle is this? I think that's the adjacent side. Uh-huh. So adjacent, is it... Sine, cosine, tangent, adjacent, co 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 cosine, 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 cosine. Okay, so uh, this is going to be uh, 22, I'm going to say V of X equals 22 times the cosine of 40. Okay, so if that is the cosine, what must this be? This, well, first of all, this is the what side? Opposite. Opposite, and opposite gives us... To the sine. So, co so a katoa. Uh, okay, sine of 40. Boom. Okay. So, if I plug these into my, oop, <laughs> my handy dandy calculator, so 22 times the cosine of 40 gives me 16.9. Oh, yeah, 16.9. Meters per second. Okay, and then 22 times the sine of 40, 14.1. Okay. Okay, so this is the velocity in the x direction. Should students be doing this at the same time you are? Absolutely. All right. Write this down. It occurs to me. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Um, so those are the velocities uh, in each of the components, the horizontal and vertical. Next. <laughs> okay, ignoring air resistance. Use the vertical component to find maximum height. Isn't that nice? They told you what component to use. Okay, so we're gonna go over <sighs> here, the vertical what, component. What do we know though, before we can find it? Oh, great question, okay. So uh, remember those things that you, we said, okay, you need. You have to remember these things. Um, you know, what, what, are the, what are things zero? What are, what's our acceleration? Okay, well, um, so the Y component, that's the up and down. We know that our acceleration due to gravity, as always, Negative 10 meters per second. Um, and we, uh, we, we kick the ball, right? We kick, kick or kick the ball? So the ball is, is going up in the vertical and then stopping at the top, right? Yep. So we know that our, uh, our final velocity is going to be uh, zero meters per second. We have three beautiful variables. What are we trying to find here? Our maximum height. Yeah. So instead of delta x, it's delta y because it's just the displacement in the y direction. Um, well, let's do this. 
So the question is, um, since we're talking about the, horizon, the, the vertical component, we're going to use our kinematic equations. Yep. These are just my ears. What variable is missing? What don't we have? So uh, well, we, we're missing, oh, what are we missing? We're missing time. Uh -huh. okay? So we want to use the equation that's going to help us out with that. I'm going to look at my little cheat sheet, cheat sheet here. It looks like we're using TAD. Okay. Cheat, cheat, cheat. Cheat, cheat, cheat. Uh, so, <laughs> so, Trevor, <laughs> where should I write that? Uh, I do it off to the side. Off the side, okay. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and write uh, my my equation over here. So we've got, uh, let's start here. So V final squared equals V initial squared uh, plus 2AD. And we want to try and find this. Pause it. See if you can solve for D. Okay, let's go. <laughs> okay, so minus that guy, minus that guy. Okay, so I've got V final squared minus uh, that initial uh, equals, I divide by 2a, divide by 2a, which is really g, that gives me d. You live in somewhere? Let's plug some numbers let's, in. Let's do is the boring part. Okay, <laughs> so um, let's see, my velocity final zero squared minus. I should do it over here. My velocity initial squared, wait, what do you mean? Instead of down here, do it over oh, there, because oh, okay. you're going to erase all this mess. Yeah. All right, so let me go ahead, let's go ahead and plug this in. Boom. So our velocity, final squared, velocity, zero meters per second, eh, nice. Squared minus our velocity initial, which is this guy right here, 14.1 meters per second squared, divided by two times acceleration, negative 10 meters per second squared. Okay, uh, yeah, okay. All right, so let's plug this bad boy in. Okay, I'm gonna say zero squared <clears throat> minus uh, 14.1 squared. And I'm gonna divide it by negative 20. Okay, I get 9.94. That's way up there. Yeah, equals, I'm just gonna write it right down here. Not, actually, no, I'll write it right here. Well, 9.94, not meters. 9.94 <laughs> meters. Okay, so uh, sweet. That's how uh, that's how far uh, up we're going. The height in the y direction. But Miss Moore, how much time does it take to get to get uh, for the football to get to that height? Okay, glad you asked. Um, so well, we want to know time. Oh yeah, I can erase this guy. It's so nice that I have a whiteboard. You guys have paper. That sucks. Should I erase all this too? Leave the work. Keep that. Lose okay. that. Okay. All right. Do, 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 do. Okay. Teamwork. Teamwork makes the dream work. <laughs> okay. So how much time does it take to reach this height? So I want to figure out what time is. So I'll put, I'm going to put that right here. I'll just put it right here. T equals question mark. Okay. So we want to figure out time. We've got these variables. What equation am I going to use? Okay. Well, if I look at my cheat sheet here. All my kinetic, kinematic, kinematic equations. Just choose an easy one, Miss Moore. One. Choose an easy one. I got just the one for you. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and use, uh, uh, well, A equals V final minus V initial over T. We want to find T. So again, we just flippity flop. T equals V final minus V initial divided by acceleration. V final. Oh, yeah, zero. Minus V initial, 14.1, divided by acceleration, negative 10. Oh. You're going to need a calculator with that, Ms. Moore? Definitely. Okay. I'm not that good. <laughs> good, but not that good. Uh, so negative 14 point, oh, wrong, point, delete, point 0.1, divided by negative 10. Okay, I get 1.41 seconds. You guys can't see that. I'm gonna write it over here. Uh, 1.41 seconds. Sweet. That's the time to the top. Time to the top. Time to the top. Okay. Um, how far horizontally? Oh, we're going back to the horizontal. Okay. Um, how far horizontally will the ball have traveled when it 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 is at the top of its flight? Okay. We just. Oh, let me make a little note here. This is the time to the top. So this is the time we want to use for this horizontal um, distance. Now, don't forget, 
we do we never use kinematic stuff over here this is constant so we just stick to our good old stuff that we always use uh velocity equals delta x over uh the change in time okay so it says how far horizontally so we're trying to figure this out so i'm going to solve for that okay that's easy easy stuff we do this in our sleep um okay so let's go ahead and plug in so uh i would say uh, so our velocity is, oh, I'll just write it right, right, right here, okay. Uh, velocity was 16.9 meters per second uh, times our time, which to the top, which was 1.41 seconds. Okay, what's that going to give me? 16.9 times 1.41, and I get 23.8. Seconds. Oh, not seconds. Oh, that's more. If you include, if you just look at your units, you know it's meters. Okay. All right. So that is the um, how far horizontally will it travel when it's uh, at the top of its flight? That's how far. Well, cool. That's halfway. But when we're playing football, do we really care how far it is halfway through? Nah, we want to know where how long it takes to hit the ground. Hang time. Yeah, we want to know the whole thing. So we need to figure out what the total time is going to be in the air. So ignoring air resistance, what is going to be the total time? This is only half the time. So I'm going to come back over here. So the time total equals uh, the time to the top times two, which makes sense, right? It's like one, two. So we're going to go ahead and say time total equals two times 1.41 seconds, um, which is going to give me uh, 2.82 seconds. Okay, so now uh, that's the total time the ball's in the air. How far will it go horizontally in this time? Okay, so we just bring back our equation here. So this time we're gonna say how far is it going to go? 16.9 meters per second uh, times our total time was 2.82 seconds. Okay. 16.9 times 2.82. And I get 47.7. 47.7. That's about half a football field. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, is that all? Are we done yet? <laughs> okay. So what, what have we done? What did we start with? Okay. Where okay. do we go? Let's backtrack. Oh, we'll use red. That one's not going to look good. Hopefully this one does. Okay. Um, so the first thing that we were given was uh, the, the velocity of the ball as it's kicked. And we had to separate it into its components, the X and the Y components. In order to do this, um, we use our triangle stuff, our triangle tools, right? That was our, those were our second steps here, these two right here, this and this. Yep. The next thing that we did was I asked you guys um, how, how high, what was the maximum height that it went to? Well, if I, want you, if I want you guys to calculate the maximum height, this was our third thing, you can do this because we have uh, all three of these variables and we can solve for our fourth. Yeah, it doesn't tell us, but we know the acceleration and the final velocity at the top. Exactly, and these are things that when you read, you just have to know them. We have to practice knowing them. Um, then the next thing I asked was, okay, uh, how, how long does it take us to get to that maximum height? We came over here and we did that work here. From there, I said, okay, well, how about the horizontal? How, how, how uh, far is it going in that horizontally in that amount of time? We know, we know how, how far it's going up. What about this way? What about the horizontal way? And we did that right here. And I use this equation because whenever we deal with things in the X, um, on the X axis, the X component, we never, we're not worried about kinematics. We, it's constant velocity. Remember golf ball? Okay. All right. So, oh, not two. What number are we on? Five? All right, so we have the total distance in that amount of time, but we don't care about half the amount of time. In fact, we wanna know the total time it's in the air. Once we know the total time, then we can say, okay, if that's how much time it took us, how far is it gonna go over that total amount of time? 
seven things, Mrs. Moore. That's a lot. I know. I Life's think I, a lot. I think I need to sit down. I'm cramping up. <laughs> perfect, perfect. Okay, so what's next? I hope we're done. I think we're done. Okay, this is for you guys to do. You're gonna pause the video um, and do this question, answer this question in your notebook. A bullet is fired straight up, leaving the gun at 500 meters per second. What can we know? What can we calculate? Think about what can we know and what different things can we calculate? Then, I would like you to answer this question. A place kicker kicks a football. Its initial velocity is 22 meters per second at an angle of 40 degrees above the horizontal. How far will it travel horizontally before it hits the ground? Good luck. 